y'all. Welcome to Walton Hall. My name is Summer. I am the CRE here. Um, and we are just going to give you a quick tour of the building today. Um, behind the camera is Henry. Hey y'all, my name is Henry. I'll be the cameraman for today. Um, and I'll be, uh, be monitoring the chat. So if you have any questions, I'll be sure to ask some of them. And also let us know where you're tuning in from, like City and State. So Summer, what's first up on the agenda? Um, first up on the agenda is one of our main entrances to Walton and the front desk. So these are some of the front doors right up here. Um, mm -hmm. And then our front desk is here. It's manned pretty much from 4 p.m. to 10 or midnight. Um, mm -hmm. So there will be always somebody here to ask questions to if you need help or anything like that. Um, but this is also um, a good spot to talk about mail and packages um, because all of your packages actually go to Gregson Hall, which is just right up the hill. It's a pretty short walk. Um, and You'll just, you'll get a combination. It should be on your housing portal soon. Mm -hmm. um, and so it'll get you into one of these lovely new boxes. Awesome. Um, and then that's a great way to get us to the kitchen too. Um, so this is the community kitchen. It's got a full stove, oven, all mm -hmm. kinds of kitchen equipment. Um, Um, most of the kitchen equipment can either be found here or at the front desk for you to check out. Um, and so you're free to bake cookies <laughs> anytime you mm -hmm. want um, or anything like that. We just ask that you keep this space clean um, and wash anything that you use. Gotcha. Awesome. Are we All heading right. to the green room next? Yeah, we can head, head over to that space now. And whereabout is Walton located? Um, that's a great question. So Walton is actually right across from the stadium. Mm -hmm. um, so you're real close to all the football games and our UREC facilities um, and all kinds of fun things like that. Mm -hmm. um, this is our green room. Um, we call it that because of the green walls. Very creative. Yes, um, but this is one of our community spaces. So there's lots of ping pong tables. Um, some space to hang out and study, watch TV. Mm -hmm. um, and this is where one of our laundry rooms for Walton is located too. So we'll head in there. Gotcha. There's also a brown room. Do you mind telling us a little bit about the brown room? Yeah, so um, they're currently replacing some of the washers right now. Mm -hmm. um, we are gonna get a new washer system, which we can talk about in a little bit. But the brown room is in the other side of our building. It's another community space. Um, it is mostly brown, which is what we call the brown room. Again, very creative. Um, but it has definitely more lounge vibes. There's, um, I think, a pool table down there, another mm -hmm. ping pong table maybe, um, lots of couches, so more space to just hang out. Gotcha. And then I can talk a little bit about Speed Queen, which is our new laundry app. So um, they actually started replacing uh, some of the washers and dryers uh, five minutes before we started, but we're going to be <laughs> using a new app called Speed Queen, which uh, there's information about it on our YouTube page, uh, You Are Housing. Um, and essentially, you have two washes and two dries per week that you can use. Um, starting after that, it'll be a dollar fifty. That's for um, for one wash, um, and then it'll be a do another dollar fifty for one dry. Um, and so, be sure to download the app. There will be a, a pin code, a number uh, for you to use to log into your account. Starting around August 9th, and you can again find out more information about that by going to our YouTube channel. All right. So what's up next? Uh, all right. Um, I believe next we're heading to one of our student rooms. So awesome. It's a little bit of a walk to get there um, mm -hmm. from this particular location so we can chit chat along the way. Yeah. We can get a good view of the stadium when we go outside. Yeah. So yeah, we have taken our north rooms and added another bed to them. Mm -hmm. and so we're going to go look at one of them, what one of those <laughs> looks like. Yeah. And then there's the stadium. So Super convenient for football games. You're right there. Yes. Less than a minute walk. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, Summer, you said you're a CRE, right? Yes. Could you talk a little bit about what a CRE is, what it stands for, and what you do? Yes. Um, so, CRE stands for Coordinator for Residence Education. Mm -hmm. um, so, my kind of main roles in my job are to supervise RAs, advise lead hogs, um, and then help uh, help students basically transition to campus and through mm -hmm. any issues they might um, be experiencing here. So whether that's roommate agreements or there's a facility issue in their room mm -hmm. um, or they need to 
find a resource on campus. My job is to basically help students find all those things. So awesome. <laughs> that's the quickest summer I can give a while. Uh, it's a big job, a big job. <laughs> and fun fact, Summer was actually my, uh, my Siri. She was my boss uh, last year uh, when I worked as an RA. Could you also talk about what an RA is as well? Yeah, so an RA um, is an undergraduate student here at the university. Mm -hmm. um, they um, basically help the residents also with resources, um, but also getting them connected to the community mm -hmm. within. Um, so your RA is kind of like your um, connector. So gotcha. if you're looking for more opportunities and more friends, they're really there to help provide that. Mm -hmm. As well if you're experiencing a crisis or an emergency situation, they can help navigate through that too. Gotcha. Was I your favorite RA last year? I have no favorites. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Do you have any advice you would give to uh, our incoming freshman class? Um, yeah, I think one of the pieces of advice that I would give um, is to just be excited and get involved. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be a lot of students here on campus this year. We have the largest class of freshmen, mm -hmm. um, which will be definitely different, but we're yeah. excited about it. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it'll just give us an opportunity to connect with a lot more people mm -hmm. um, and just engage with more individuals. Um, but yeah, we have some really awesome events during a week, literally the week before school starts. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a big week of events, so things like Chocolate Wasted and Taste of Fable, we have all these kind of different food trucks mm -hmm. and partners come in, um, and so it's just a really cool opportunity to get started with those connections even before the first day classes. Awesome. Y'all be sure to let us know if you have any questions for Summer about Walton Hall in general, because now we're about to see a room that was right here. We are keeping you in suspense. Um, so this is 101, um, and we're going to just check it out. Let's set up our new configuration. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's do a little, yeah, let's little overview. There's any lights that I missed. Yeah, so there's a desk area over here, mm -hmm. which also has some shelving over here. And then here are the beds. And could you explain what a Jack and Jill style room is? Yes, so a Jack and Jill style room is basically this room and the room right next door share a bathroom. Gotcha. Um, so in this particular space, four of y'all will be sharing that bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, and there's, but there's a door in between. So um, if you're needing that privacy, it can mm -hmm. be utilized. Gotcha. Yeah, you can show this off. Mm -hmm. so here's the bedroom, a, cl a closet. Yeah, so it's mostly the bathroom, it's just the shower and the toilet. Gotcha. And then here's another another closet. And then you can get a look at the, the shower in here. It's not set up yet, but mm -hmm. it looks like that. It will look yeah. Like and then there's also, um, could you shut the store a little bit? There's some space here for you to put all your toiletries, your towels, and, and things like that. But all right, y'all, be sure to let us know if you have any questions, whether it's about measurements, living at Walton. And we do have one coming in. Mm -hmm. Is there a link where we can see all the activities before school starts? So um, about a week. Yeah, that's a great question. The website for a week should be live. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know the exact link off the top of my head. But it's actually a week that you work you. There you go. Perfect. A -week that you. I was going to have you Google the same thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. would have got Google. you the same link. Mm -hmm. You know that you are uh, shorthand to Google things. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the Oh, URC? just if you type in you are first yes. and then whatever you want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, another great source to find events is Hogsync. Um, we are updating it this year, but if you search you are Hogsync, um, it's a really cool page. You just need to set up a profile, but it's where a lot of campus activities, um, different university um, residence halls put all their programs. So if you're looking for programs or events to go to, that's a great place to find it as well. Gotcha. All right. Our next question is, what does the inside of the armoire look like? Oh. It's got two drawers in the bottom, it looks like. Go the same size, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. All right, our next question is, is there only one desk for two boys? Um, that is a great question. Um, there is one built-in desk. So the built-in mm -hmm. desk here, yes. light's um, not great in there, but mm -hmm. I think we have some light underneath. Yeah, there's light underneath here. Um, so there is light underneath. Um, if you... Um, are, are, when you move in and you're maybe possibly wanting a second desk, 
I would recommend, um, you know, like housing, we might have a few on hand, but mm -hmm. for now there is this one um, desk in the room, and then we will have some of our study spaces and community spaces, we'll have some more study rooms there as well. So. Gotcha. Um, and so that was kind of the follow-up question talking about putting yeah. another uh, student desk is. And someone just asked to scan the room again. So mm -hmm. start over here and then we'll look at the desk again in the kind of that pantry area. So here's the second bed. Uh, let's put on the lofting too because there are two different beds in here. Yeah, yeah. So um, this, do you mean just kind of like the height? Yeah, uh, this is one where yeah. if you want to take it higher, I think that's about 36 inches. Mm -hmm. And if you want to take it higher, you need to make a request gotcha. for an additional piece. This yeah. one goes up. You know, pretty significantly, yeah. you mm -hmm. bounce it as you turn them around, and you can go up higher with that. Yeah. All right. Uh, check movein.uart.edu for the exact dimensions, mm -hmm. but two different beds, which is unusual for us. But. Yes. Gotcha. All right. And so then here's the desk area again, and then the shelves over here. Someone asked, are there any shelves in the shower? Um, sure. Yeah, so not in the shower itself, but in the, the bathroom. There's some storage space. So here's what the shower looks like. Mm -hmm. And then here's kind of um, some storage space here so you can put stuff there, below, up top. So there's two of these pockets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other one's kind of hidden behind here, behind the door. All right. Uh, so when I ask about the armoire again, we can open that up one more time. Next question is measurement of the shower closets. Okay. Okay. Do you mind if I give this to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you Might need my help, help then, yeah. Right. Okay. yeah, it's very complicated with, <laughs> with uh, the total of one button. Just press the red button when you have, so like if you want to get the, yeah, you just let the red light go there mm -hmm. and push the button and it'll give you a feet and inches. Looks like it's four feet ten inches. Okay, four feet, right. yeah. And then could you also do the the width? Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
And yeah, we can get yeah. this, this wall here. That is seven feet three inches. Seven feet three inches, gotcha. Um, someone had a, um, another question. So they wanted to clarify. So another, well, a second, a second desk is not provided. Is that correct? Not right now. No. Um, mm. if you are really needing one, we just ask that you email housing. It would most likely require one of the beds to be lofted to put the desk underneath. Um, but like I said, we're going to have lots of extra community space in this building. This building has a lot of nooks and crannies. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's some cool spaces to study, um, in your room as well as outside in the building um, but as well you're just right up the hill from the union um mm -hmm. from, and from so, mullins is what five yes, minutes away uh -huh. yeah mullins and, library yes mm -hmm. mullins library and starbucks and all those kinds of places yeah um so there's lots of places to study nearby as well gotcha um are the common areas in Walton also being used for bedrooms um that's a great question not right now um so the green room and the brown room and all of those interesting nooks and cranny study spaces are mm -hmm. all just being used as study spaces or hangout places mm -hmm. or play ping pong and stuff like that gotcha if you selected a sweet mate how come that person was not paired with you in the same room you'll need to follow up by mm -hmm. calling housing mm -hmm. um uh, or using uh housing at your you we have that number? Yeah, I have that number somewhere on yeah. here if I can find it. If it's something it. personal like that, yes. like, you know, one specific situation, yeah. then you're really better off calling us here. I got that yeah, number. it's at the Thank top. You. If you can't read my handwriting, let me know. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, call 575-4687, uh, mm -hmm. and they can probably, you know, sort you out yeah. for something yeah. very specific like that. Mm -hmm. And the email, if they wanted to email us, housing at york.edu? Correct. Gotcha. Correct. Are there four towel hooks in the bathroom or just two? I think there may be three. We will see. So there's kind of a hook here, um, and then there's here. this here, and then there's another one on that side. Mm -hmm. So sort of three. Sort of three. I mean, I guess you could maybe you maybe put, put one right here. here. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So three potentially potentially <laughs> four. What so is there, is there is this additional closet here too, so you could have some space mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Man hooks, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. What is the measurement to put a futon under the bed? So I guess maybe measuring the bed frame would be the best okay. best option, yeah. I'd say. Um, so you just, I can put my hand over here. Or do no, you would... That's good. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right, it looks like that is exactly seven feet. Seven feet, and then um, measuring the, the width of it. So th three three feet by seven feet, and so obviously you would need to get uh, a taller uh, taller bed frame. So you'd have to request that through Fix It. Yeah, there's um, a second piece that needs to be added to this mm -hmm. to take it up further. Than you. Gotcha. But right. a lot of like these pieces underneath could be moved if you mm -hmm. wanted to rearrange anything. Mm -hmm. so. Gotcha. Next question is: Can the bathroom doors be locked from both sides? Um, I believe they can. Yeah. Um, yeah. The lock is right here. So you can lock it from, from this side, um, so that way um, no one could get into your room from the bathroom, but the other side of the door doesn't have a lock. I don't think so, but we'll double yeah. check just in case. So the resident side, not the bathroom side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, so it's on the resident side. Um, so just make sure that you double check that you don't lock yourself out of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. uh, but the lock is on the other side, so that shouldn't happen. Gotcha. Are both beds twin XL? Um, they should be. I'm not in touch here, so let's measure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, here, hold on. Oh if you don't mind, give me a piece of paper on that side. Right. A hand, even. Mm -hmm. I'll lend you a hand. Lend me a hand. <laughs> I'm glad you left something. <laughs> I appreciate your job. Uh, six five. Six five. Okay. Yeah. Six foot five inches and a half. It should be between seventy five and eighty. Let mm -hmm. me try that. Let me try one more. Do you think I should use a piece of paper? Yeah. Amy? Yeah. My hand was not good enough. Let me let me give you the strip inches here. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. 
learning curve was that. 76 inches, so this would be not the 80, but the 76, 75. Mm -hmm. And then here, probably similar. That is 76, 77. So mm -hmm. both of these are going to be in that um, above 75, but below 80, which I think Twin XL would mm -hmm. cover that. Yeah. And I know from personal experience, like if you use twin XL sheets for a bed that's not technically a twin XL, you have a little bit extra, but it's still it's still comfortable. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Next uh, question is the measurement underneath the bed, not counting the footboard and headboard. Um, so I guess the not counting the footboard headboard or the, what was the other part? The, the, the footboard and headboard, um, but there's not necessarily a, a So I think they just want the measurement inside. Yeah, inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just fine. Right. And I'm going to give you just inches this time around. Uh, 79, uh, 79 and a half inches. Okay, so and they also said the measurement underneath the bed. Okay, I got it. Um, so And that is 35, slightly over 35 inches. 35 inches. And then this uh, this metal bar, this is about, how many inches do you reckon that is? Uh, that is about five inches. Five inches, Four so, five inches. gotcha. Here, I think I might have to get a bit. This, this one kind of falls apart at a certain small dimensions. Uh -huh. Oh, he's made an error. Let's see. Yeah, I'd have to pull out the analog. And gotcha. It looks like four. four gotcha. Um, our next question is, will you be showing one of the rooms that share the community bathroom girl side? Uh, we won't today, but if you uh, look at past streams of mm -hmm. York Home Live, like uh, for 2021, for example, um, we do show off the community bathroom. Yeah. And you can also check out the 60 second video we also uploaded today. that shows off a little bit. <laughs> created by Henry. Thank it you was created by me. That was a little self-advertising. <laughs> Um, so I mentioned about emailing housing for uh, swapping roommates. Um, so I'll also mention that again. Is there space to move the short dressers over by the desk? Um, so not right here. You might be able to fit one under there maybe depending on yeah. how tall they are. Do you want to measure this space right here? Or we can just do, do it practically. I think it may be a little too tall. I feel like maybe we've done this before, but I can't recall. Okay. Ah. No. no. It's yeah. a little bit too tall for that. Mm -hmm. But they are wheeled. They move easily. Yeah. So the uh, answer is, is no. You cannot move the dressers underneath the desk. How long is the desk and how wide? Sixty inches long. And twenty-four inches. Twenty-four inches wide. We do appreciate all these mm -hmm. questions. We know that uh, you mm -hmm. know having an extra bed in here is a little bit different, but mm -hmm. thank, you. thank you. Yeah, and that was actually uh, that kind of um, brings up the next question: Is that someone asked were these rooms initially designated to be single occupancy, and have they been changed to accommodate two students? That is correct. Yes, mm -hmm. we did that because of. Well, frankly, because of all growth yes. on yeah. campus, yeah. Uh, we've got a lot more students coming in. I know you're going to be mm -hmm. uh, addressing that with yeah. all your many prop uh, communities. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of like I mentioned earlier, I am actually the CRE for Walton, Duncan, and Gregson. Uh, big so 10. Out yeah. <laughs> all over. Um, but like I mentioned, we're really excited about all these students we're getting. Um, so we want to make sure that they can, every student knows that they have a place here on campus whether that's in one of our residence halls and some of our partner departments as well. Um, but we just want to make sure that everyone feels welcome. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Next question is, um, has this been done to the girls' side? So I think they're talking about the, uh, the south side. And would we have been notified if so? Um, I think at this point it has not happened on the south side. Mm -hmm. It's only the north side. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of things still in play before we um, move everybody in. But we, we're feeling good now. Um, mm -hmm. After this movement, we feel real good. Gotcha. Yes. And if anything were to happen with your room changer and things like that, mm -hmm. most likely you would be notified. I'd recommend start looking at your UARC email now. That's mm -hmm. when a lot of emails come through. 
Um, so not your Gmail or anything like that. Or the housing portal is also a great place. Gotcha. And then someone asked about the Ethernet, and it is right over there by the desk. Mm -hmm. So you will um, you'll need to get an Ethernet cord uh, to hook up uh, whatever you need, but it is located by the desk. Um, and again, if there's any concerns about the double occupancy for the rooms, you can uh, email housing at housing at york.edu or uh, looking up the phone number. Um, but I think that's all the questions we have for now, so be sure to let us know um, any questions you have. Um, in the meantime, I think we, we've already talked about A-Week. We talked about um, A-Week, didn't we? Yeah. yeah, we did. Which is a great opportunity to get involved. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have a favorite A-Week event summer? Mm-hmm. Um, sweet and spicy? Uh, kind of. <laughs> yeah. They both involve food. They um, do. Yeah. So, one may be more filling than the other, yes, more healthy. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Um, mm -hmm. But they just have really cool energy. Um, it's a great opportunity to meet a bunch of not only our campus partners, but also a bunch of places across Fayetteville. So um, mm -hmm. I definitely recommend checking those out. I think those are Tuesday, Wednesday night, but the schedule is, I think it's a week. A week. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. And for, I guess, our, our Texans out there, uh, Whataburger is usually there. Yes. <laughs> it will be there again. Uh -huh. I, I was, yeah, I was very happy to see Whataburger at every, uh, every, every taste of Fayetteville. <laughs> <laughs> but all right. It doesn't look like we have any additional questions. Um, if you have any questions, remember you can always email housing or, or call us. Um, uh, I just, uh, we, as I said that, we got one more question. Yeah. Will you be touring a south side room? Uh, um, not today, mm -hmm. um, but there are those tours mm -hmm. that we've done previously that you can find on YouTube or on our website um, that show some of those south side rooms. Yeah, so uh, that would be specifically 2021 that you can look up on our YouTube channel. Yeah. But, all right, well, thank you so much for giving us the tour, and you can sign of us out. Of course. Well, I am very excited for all of y'all to be here um, in just a few short weeks. Um, and we are just so excited for all that this year is going to bring. Um, so we can't wait to see you all soon. Awesome. Thanks, Summer. Bye.